Alright, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Um, rather than do this over some other piece of media, I'm going to do it over a story that just happened to me, like, a few hours ago. So, I've noticed that my phone has been not doing so well recently, and I'm not sure what the hell is going on at this point, but I figure that, you know, it's a Windows phone, so it's probably time to get a new phone by now. Okay, so I go to the store with a friend of mine, I was staying at a friend's place, and we go to the Telstra shop, and I take a look around at some of the phones there. And I look at the phones, and I'm like, I have no idea how to use any of these. And it's like, I don't want to step outside my comfort zone. Not yet, anyway. I need like a fucking ten step process or some shit. Fucking letter from the government that says it's okay to like change my phone. So I decided to like take a break and just like see if I can find out the problem with my phone myself. I figure I don't think it's the battery, but you know, it might be the battery. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to take a look. I have a lot of difficulty trying to pop the phone case open, like just trying to like pull it apart. And when I opened the phone, I discovered the problem very much was the battery. It had like it was, looked like a fucking balloon inside my phone. It was like three times, it was like twice or three times as thick as it was supposed to be. And it looked like it was on the verge of exploding. It was like a fucking, like a fucking teenage boy with his dick in his hands. It was like that close to exploding. And I was like, holy shit, this was in my phone. No wonder it wasn't working. No wonder it was overheating regularly, and the battery power drained faster than my energy. So I took the battery out, and I sort of just wandered around. I was like, is there a chance we could get a replacement battery? You know, a battery that looks like this, but it doesn't look like it's about to become a serious fucking injury. Unfortunately, I don't have a new battery at the moment. So, I've got no phone right now. Hooray! But I just thought this was an interesting story to share with everyone.